Hi there. My friend Dijuan P asked me to make a video on how to upload on widescreen um, this new feature of YouTube. And um, I decided to make a very simple video basically um, stating how to use widescreen. Now, this is of course going to be different depending on the kind of camera that you have and depending on the kind of editing software that you use. So basically what I'm going to show you is using my Sony camera and Windows Movie Maker which is like the standard that people use. But you can basically use the same settings for any other editing software and for any other camera. The first thing that you need to do is make sure that when you're recording something that your camera is set to record on widescreen, also known as 16:9. Okay, as you can see here, I don't know about the focus. I really can't tell if you can see, but this um, this square right here is not perfectly square. There's two horizontal lines on the bottom and the top, which means it's recording at 69. There's also a 69 somewhere in here, and that's basically what it's showing. The problem with this is that I cannot record my camera with myself. <laughs> if not, you know, it would be easier to show you. Uh, here you're going to have to look in the uh, properties. Here it's on menu and then... Uh, where is that? White select, I think. Yeah, it's on menu white select. In this, I have a Sony DCR HC32. And you click on widescreen 16.9, and it will automatically do that for you. Instead of 4.3, 4.3 would be the standard. Once you have recorded your video using this format, now you can go ahead and basically capture it the same way that you do every single time, except that this time, I'm going to show you on the screen, you go to Tools options and you have to make sure that on options you have NTSC if you're in Canada the United States and Mexico it's NTSC 69 if you're in Europe and some parts of Asia I think it's PAL I don't know it depends on where you are but um, you're gonna have to look that up depending on where you are but if you're in Canada United States and Mexico it's NTSC and then select 16.9 which is widescreen. Once you have that then just click OK and you can go ahead and capture it. OK. So now let's go to capture it. I have uh, placed my uh, camera on the dock. I select Sony DV device. This, this depends on your camera of course. Then you uh, type whatever name you want to give it test wide screen then click on next um, best quality for playback that's how I usually uh, edit it I capture it on best quality then capture parts of the tape manually I'm only going to capture like five seconds just to show you wait because it's on um, that's me by the way <laughs> from the side we want to have it on playback capture parts of the tape manually and yeah now it's giving me an unknown error that's great okay let me start this again okay let's try again there we go alright and uh, it's basically waiting for me to tell it to capture I'm gonna start capturing it is capturing, but for some reason, when I capture on 16.9, it does not show on the preview. Okay, 10 seconds, let's stop it here. Oh, there there you go. See how it's widescreen? You can tell it was captured on widescreen. Now you click on Finish, and it will import the, uh, the file. Oh, I have... I'm right on the between two takes. Yeah, so this is basically the... Um, the video that I captured, you can see that it's widescreen. So, 
basically, you know, you do the editing as you usually do. And now here's a tricky part, and here's maybe why you're watching this video. <laughs> Once you go to save movie file, like you always do, whatever, export, I don't know. Uh, there's some um, there's some pixel ratios that work and some pixel ratios that do not work. This is a list of the pixel ratios that I have tested that actually work. 428 by 240, 640 by 360, 856 by 480, and 1280 by 720. These work. If you try something else, it might not work. I can I can uh, guarantee you that these will work. So where do you see that pixel ratio? Right here. Okay. So if you choose different settings, that will change. This is high quality video, so you can see that it's kind of high. This is smaller, but it still works on widescreen. Less quality though. So depending on what quality you want to give it, it will change the settings. Don't use this one. Even though it says 69, don't use a 720 by 480. It won't work. It will crop. So stay away from 720 480. Everything else works. I would recommend that you use this one, um, this one, it, according to you know how much space you want to use. But with this one, the um, one megabit per second, you get pretty good quality, and um, and it just works perfectly good. Or use this one, Wh high quality video, large variable bit rate. It's you know uh, a bit different, and you can't really know the size of your movie until you finish exporting it. But it works. This one works pretty well too. So you export it. You know it takes a little bit of time to export. It's not going to take a long time, so let's just wait. Still exporting. And then, you know, when it's done, it's done. And it exported in widescreen. Uh, see? There you go. It's, as you can tell, it's widescreen. And once you upload this file, it will automatically be recognized by YouTube as a widescreen file. And you're going to have it. So there you go. If you have any questions, just let me know.